Hope you guys missed Tip Tuesdays because we are finally back with the Tip Tuesdays. I know this is probably your favorite series, guys. It's free game. It's what all the pros are doing, including myself. And you know, you get to implement it into your scheme for free, man. All my Tip Tuesdays, I'd like to say, are very solid. And this one is no different. A very nice tip. I'm gonna try to do one tip a week for, you know, as long as I can in the Madden 22 season. I know this year it's kind of like, not I don't want to say a copy paste of last year, but it's very similar to last year. Gameplay kind of runs the same besides like the movement and all that. So it was hard for me to find some new stuff. I think I've, you know, low key understanding the game more and more each and every day. And I'm confident in dropping an ebook. What you see in today's video will be like small portion of what you can expect from my defensive ebook coming out very soon. With all that being said and done, let me take you down a trip to Madden 21, a throwback to Madden 21. I could confidently say man coverage is back in Madden 22. And here, I'm gonna show you in today's video how I like to run my man coverage. I went with the Panthers on defense because they're obviously very, very good on defense. Look at their corners, look at their corners. Dante Jackson, CJ Henderson, Gilmore. I'm just kind of trying to show you guys what I like to do in man coverage versus people in uh, my, but this is how I run my man coverage out of four, six defense out of three, three, five wide. And just remember uh, with all things defensive in this year's game, um, it's going to be, you know, take it with a grain of salt. It's right here. Obviously you got quick hike, but I'm going to show you my adjustments. I like to do versus bunch. And maybe I'll add like a second part to the video. Once I figure out what I like to do versus trips and man coverage, the verse bunch, man, Take notes, guys. Here we go. I'm going to man up this outside linebacker on the right. And no, uh, just note that in 4-6, I have safeties right here and here. So Hassan Reddick and uh, Shaq Thompson, you know, if they're not playing good man coverage, you know why. It's because they're linebackers. I like to man up this guy right here. I like to put this guy in a purple. I like to put this guy in a third. Or I like to keep the three wreck. The three wreck is very nice. I will go into this more in my ebook. Why I like three wreck versus certain things. And, you know, how to mix it in with zone coverage and blitzes. But for the most part, I put them in a third. And I don't shade. That's the biggest key. You can shade up. You can shade down. Um, if you do shade down, you're going to want to have this guy in a third, uh, deep half and this guy in a deep half. So something like this. But for the most part, my every down defense, you guys have been asking for this cover one robber. It's what I like to do. I don't shade. And for the most part, you're going to see everything is pretty much bagged. We're going to get easy click ons like that all the time. Take it with a grain of salt. It is practice mode. That's just one setup you can run. Another one you could do is uh, man up the safety to A and man up this guy to uh, triangle or Y. And it's pretty much just cover one robber with a uh, cover zero with a blitz. And you can always just send this blitz in. You're going to see we get pressure to the left side. And once more, it's a bag. A lot of you guys have been asking, how do you run man? How do you run man? How do you run man? Well, this is how I like to run man. And if you got the sub tips, you know how to do the send to variation of this as well. I posted some sub tips to my Twitch. If you do need that, uh, you know, DM me on Twitch or whatever it may be. I'll make sure to put a link in the bio. For the most part, you're just going to want to man up that linebacker to the tight end. Put that guy on the right on a purple. Uh, put him in a third. And like I said, take it with a grain of salt. Things will still be open. But if you have good users and good cornerbacks, you are going to be able to bag a lot of things. It's right here. I will show you something was literally just open. You can't expect to run man every play. You definitely can with the corners that are out now, but you're going to have to make adjustments. See right here, this guy was completely open. Um, like I said, take it with a grain of salt. But once you see these clips that I'm going to add into the video, you guys are going to be like, okay, man is really good and it's somewhat back. It's not to the extent it was last year but it is still very, very effective and you can mix it in compared to like a month or two ago, even like three months ago, you cannot, you could not run man at all. Um, I know Patterson is out now with one step for one AP. You can mix and match him. Um, if you guys want to run man a lot, if you have already been running man a lot, I highly recommend Patriots theme team. I'm going to go through it in a second right here. So as you see right here, this is why you're going to want to do Pat's theme team. Um, and it's going to come down to the defensive side of the ball. You got Ty Law who if you max him out, he's going to have 99 speed on a Pat's theme team, considering if you have uh, DB strat items. You're going to have JC Jackson, who's going to have 98 speed with DB strat items, man and press coverage. And last but not least, you're going to have Cordero Patterson, who I was just talking about. And he's going to have 99 speed if you have that deep freeze chem um, strat item. I can show you guys what it looks like in a second. He gets one step for 1 AP and acro for 1 AP. 
and you know if you if you're really serious about running man patriots is by far the best team you can run man coverage with for the most part you know you could always change up your coverages and man coverage whether you shade down with two deep halves like this or you know you shade up put two purples on the field um one thing you guys gotta watch out for is the qb uh scramble you know if you can put a spy out there or a three wreck and last but not least uh routes will you know in man coverage your guys get bumped a lot I'll make sure to try to put a clip in there and show you guys what I mean. So watch out for that. Um, routes do get bumped a lot and it is kind of inconsistent, but man coverage, I've had a lot of success running it. I just went 25 and a weekend league running it. Hopefully we could go back to back, but yeah, man, that's how I feel about man coverage um, at this current state of the game. The three man, three man rushes are pretty high powered now. Two man rushes are really good as well. It's kind of trending towards uh, in the favor of man coverage. Hopefully you guys got this knowledge down and could implement it to your scheme. You can always still run zone, but man, if you want to switch up your defense for the better, highly recommend you start running some man coverage out there. Catch you guys in the next video. Enjoy these clips that I got for you guys. And, you know, leave some comments. I'll tr try to write some uh, setups in the description for you guys. Till next time, guys. Take care. Tip Tuesday is back for the better. Here's an example of a clip of me running this cover one robber. You see, he's going to audible the bunch tight end. And we're just going to put that purple on the bunch tight end side. He does have this out route kind of open. Um, but, you know, if you ever set your zone drops and zone depth, you could, you know, always take that underneath route away. But I'm going to rewind this. And boom, I put my purple right here. Put my third right here. Um, bl blitz your user to get better sheds. And notice the streak is guarded. And this corner route, absolute cage, especially with one step in the slot. Here's another uh, example of me running man, except this time we're going to be shading up and we're going to have some clouds on the field. Um, basically a cover two look and we man up our safeties and just an absolute cage if you ask me. Have a good user, um, add a couple, you know, clouds out there, shade up when the time be needs to be. Like just mix in adjustments and you'll see that man is like kind of turning into what it was last year. He's in bunch this time and we are actually going to shade down right here with two deep halves. So I show you everything, man. 